there would have been hope. So when Jesus becomes disgusted, really, with, uh, actually the Greek word is he, he was angry. He's angry that these people are so hope, hopeless, that, that they have no hope. He does say those three things, which changes things. The first was, roll away the stone. That begins to help us understand that there is some possibility here. Jesus says, roll away the stone. Soren Gurkegaard, of course, Martha says, no, Jesus, his body stinks. Jesus says, roll away the stone. And they do. Soren Kierkegaard, when he looked at this text in his book, the, um, about despair, the sickness unto death, he said, the sickness unto death was just that, is just that. To be so hopeless that you believe that God cannot even hope, or that God cannot even help. So they believed everything was beyond hope. Lazarus was dead four days. God cannot even act here. And Jesus says, roll away the stone. And you can see why Jesus would be angry that humanity is so hopeless that they, there are those times when they believe that God cannot even act. They roll away the stone. Jesus shouts, Lazarus, come out. Wouldn't it be interesting to know if we could have actually been there and to videotape that, to see how his body was reanimated, what uh, happened first, what came to life first? Was it uh, his mind or, or what? We don't know how it happened. All we know is that Lazarus starts hobbling out. He had a hobble because he was wrapped in his burial shroud, his burial clothes. And Jesus says, unwrap him. And that is probably the most ex uh, significant event that happened. Jesus says, unwrap him. Get rid of the burial shroud. John giving us this sign this miracle, but this sign pointing to something else is pointing to the fact that the burial shroud, the shroud of death, is now being lifted, lifted from Lazarus. Back in the Old Testament, Isaiah had a vision, and his vision was, I'll, I'll read to you the exact words, on this mountain a shroud is cast over all peoples. The sheet is spread over all nations. God will destroy this shroud. He s will swallow up death, death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. This death shroud, Isaiah envisioned it covering all peoples. Jesus, when he says, unbind him, take off that shroud. John is saying, Jesus has the power over death. Even this death shroud, Jesus removes. We have hope. God can act even when we think it's hopeless. God acts. God in Christ removes, lifts up, changes our condition forever. We no longer need despair. Jesus goes before us right after this uh, story. John ironically tells us that all the authorities now plotted to kill Jesus. It's a foreshadowing of his death showing that Jesus, even in death, goes before us as we follow him. 
and rises before us. So he already has experienced death and resurrection as we continue to follow him. And what does it mean in this life? We follow. Jesus goes before us. Even in those places, and he calls us even in those places where there is despair and there is no sense of hope. There's a story about Mother Teresa where she and a uh, priest that was part of her organization came upon a dead man, excuse me, a man near death, skeletal. He was so near death. And she knelt, knelt down beside this man and she said to him, do not fear. Jesus led us here. And now we're going to take you. And we're going to care for you. You will not die alone. Mother Teresa knew. There is no place that she went that Jesus didn't go before her. And Jesus in the most hopeless of situations gives hope. The veil of death has been lifted forever. Amen. Please rise and sing as we share our tithes and offerings. Ordinary life It's time for us 
The earth is yours and all that is in it. Let your power go forth throughout the earth to make all things new. Guide the rulers and authorities in this world to forsake falsehood and to live with clean hands and work for justice. Lord, in your mercy. In your compassion, we ask your protection and healing for veterans and military personnel. Where there is pain, bring comfort. Where there is anger, bring mercy. Where there is war, bring peace. Lord, in your mercy. We seek your healing for all who struggle with addiction, mental illness, physical ailment, or spiritual distress. We remember especially Katie Brady, Linda Brashear, Kite Coulter, Karen Cleave, Jeff Dykeman, Denny Holbein, Shannon Eagleston Leff, April Hollinger, Larry Hopper, Jennifer Stilwell Jackson, Dustin Jones, Alan Kamens, Jim Lampy, Alan Malcolm, Katie Mayberry, Adam Mesenbrink, Lynn Peterson, Lori Pettit, John Reynolds, Amy Robb, Carrie Sykes, Florence Stilwell, Kylie Timmerberg, Ann Wilbur, and Logan Young. Are there any others? We give you thanks for all the saints. Wipe away our tears of sorrow and mourning. And when we die, bring us to the church triumphant. Comfort the grieving, especially the family and friends of Rick Allward, Geneva Shelton, James Zimmer, the Reverend Eugene Peterson, Joellen Allen, and Bud McEwen. Lord, in your mercy, your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Holy, mighty, and merciful Lord, heaven and earth are full of your glory. And great love you sent to us, Jesus, your Son, who reached out to heal the sick and suffering, who preached good news to the poor, and who on the cross opened his arms to all. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread 
gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering, therefore, his death, resurrection, and ascension, we await his coming in glory. Pour out upon us the spirit of your love, O Lord, and unite the wills of all who share this heavenly food, the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The table is ready. Our Lord invites us. All are welcome. Please come. You may be seated. is with us he is with us break the bread taste the wine Christ is with us here here is grace here is peace Christ is with us he is with us Know his grace, find his peace, feast on Jesus here. In this bread, there is healing, in this cup is life forever. In this moment, by the Spirit, Christ is with us here. Here we are, joined in one. Christ is with us, He is with us. We'll proclaim till He comes, Jesus crucified. In this bread, there is healing. In this cup is life forever. In this moment, by the Spirit, Christ is with us here. Christ is with us, He is with us. Break the bread, taste the wine. Christ is with us here. Here is grace, here is peace. Christ is with us, He is with us. Know His grace, find His peace, feast on Jesus here. 
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, through the gifts of his body and blood, strengthen, keep, and unite us now and forever. Amen. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have strengthened us through this gift. And now as we leave this place, fill us full of your strength, knowing you go before us and lead the way. Lead the way to share mercy, grace, peace, and the fact that you have conquered death. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the grace that sustains every breath we take, the love of God that gives us courage and strength, and the abiding presence of the Holy Spirit that fills our hearts with comfort and peace, be with you and all those you care about, now and forever. Amen. It don't have a job It don't pay your bills Won't buy you a home in Beverly Hills Won't fix your life In five easy steps Paint the law of the land Of the government But it's all you need And love will hold us together Make us a share to weather the storm and I'll be my brother's keeper so the whole world will know that we're not alone it's waiting for you knocking at your door in the moment of truth when your heart hits the floor and you're on your knees and love will hold us together make us a shelter to weather the storm and I'll be my brother's keeper so the whole world will know that we're not alone. This is the first day of the rest of your life. This is the first day of the rest of your life. Cause even in the dark, you can still see the light. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. This is the first of the rest of your life this is the first day of the rest of your life cause even 
even in the dark you can still see the light it's gonna be all right it's gonna be all right To weather the storm And I'll be my brother's keeper So the whole world will know that we're not alone Guided by the gospel, we welcome all to worship Make disciples, hunger for ministry, nurture you Gather resources for growing ministry And offer healing and care to all in need Go in peace to serve the Lord This is the first day of the rest of your life. This is the first day of the rest of your life. Cause even in the dark, you can still see the light. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. And love will hold us together. Make us a shelter to weather the storm And I'll be my brother's keeper So the whole world will know that we're 